start off by going to Artsonia. And you're going to want to log into your account. Or create an account if you haven't already. Then uh, you're going to go to the art exhibit and artist statement right there. Here I have the different exhibits that have been created. Uh, I'm going to go to this year's exhibit, which is Monsters. And I'm going to scroll down here to where it says Artist Statement. Um, this is where you can create a class form. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to copy this URL there. And uh, there's several different ways you could do this um, to send it out to a group of uh, computers. You can put it into an email, uh, basically to yourself, and uh, then put in an email to yourself, um, and then open that up on the different computers that you want to be able to access this uh, URL. Um, if your computers are networked together, uh, you could save it in uh, a documents folder. Um, you know, open up uh, a. Uh, oh, I would I would just open up a, a little uh, notepad or something, and. Put the URL there and save that. Let's save it to my documents folder. Let's see, I'll name it Sonia. And I'm going to save it in my documents folder. Uh, and then that could be opened up on different web pages. Uh, you could uh, just write this up on the board in, in the front of the room and have the kids type it in. But when you have this, then what it allows you to do is the kids can open it up. They can find their artwork uh, there in the classroom or in the computer lab, wherever you're doing this, and simply click on it and enter their artist statement. Um, that's the, the, probably the easiest way to get an artist statement on there. Um, now, there does have to be a little bit of, of monitoring of the, the class because they do have access to all, uh, to each other's artists, artworks, and, you know, you don't want them to put an artist statement on the wrong artwork. So you just kind of have to keep an eye on it. But, you know, after they've done that, you know, Put in their statement and hit submit statement right there. And up here it kind of gives some some ideas about what to write about. So that's how to put an artist statement into Artsonia.